Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Colleen. So lately I've been seeing online, I've been seeing a trend of like women attending their D appointments and D appointments are, you know, scheduled sessions with your intimate partner and they have routines, what they do, how they prepare, the shower gels they're using. And you know, it's part of the, the hygiene routine world. It's just a little subsector called D appointments. And when I see these videos, I think about a time where I used to prepare to go see, you know, an intimate partner. And, and I just thought about who I was and the place I was in mentally. And I wanted to speak to you ladies and make sure that your mental is in the right place before you attend this session. And, and then you can go. Then you can run off and, and get your back blown out. But let, let's just talk for a moment, okay? So D appointments to me, yes, they can be shared between long-term partners. But a lot of times D appointments are between boyfriend, girlfriends, or even situationships. And a situationship is a, is a coupling who are not committed to each other yet not actually an official item. So you're in this gray area of, okay, I guess we just have sex, we talk when we talk, and that's that. I feel like a lot of D appointments would either fall into that category of situationships or boyfriend, girlfriend. So I just wanna make sure that you're in this for the right reason. Make sure when you go to your appointment that you're doing it for you and not because you think it'll keep him around. It's a very dangerous mindset to hold on to a relationship with intimacy. You can't build a relationship based off sex. It won't work ultimately because you'll find yourself wanting a deeper connection. And if your deepest connections is only when you two are tossing around in the sheets, you're gonna feel empty on the inside. You're gonna you're gonna ultimately feel really insecure because you're gonna wonder why won't they make this full commitment to me and why do they only want me when it comes to intimate situations. So make sure before you go to that D appointment that you're asking like, is this something I want? Because it's not just always about men. Women get gratification from loving too. It's not. They're blessing us, we're blessing them. It's sometimes it's most times it should be mutual. But if you find that you're doing this out of, oh, he might leave me if I don't. If I say no, will he find someone else? That's too much insecurity and in something that's supposed to make you feel good. So make sure before you go to your D appointment that you are doing it for you. This is something you want. This is something you feel good in and not because you are afraid of abandonment. Be very aware of your intentions and motivations for getting all gussied up, putting on your, your priciest bath and body works, making sure you wash about three times between your legs to run over and get some. Make sure it's coming from a place that you are happy with. You are happy with, not out of fear. Before you go to your D appointment, if you feel any pressure in any way, shape, form, or fashion, stay home. No one should be forcing you or making you feel like this is a decision outside of yourself. You need to feel whole within yourself to make sure this is the right choice for you. Once again, you cannot be working out of fear of abandonment. If a guy is like, yeah, if you don't give me this, X, Y, Z, let them leave. If you feel like if I don't do this, this won't happen for me or we won't get to the next level, let them go. If you feel any way, shape, or form that this is happening outside of your control, you don't have any kind of feeling of safety, this is not it. So before you go to your D appointment, make sure you're going on your own free will, your own volition, your own mindset, because if you feel like this is you're doing this for him, that's the worst that you will, you don't belong to you anymore. You you belong to him and you're his sex toy. That's, that's not it. Before you go to your D session, please do not entertain any man that only wants you or entertains you when it comes to sex. If you only hear from him at nighttime, that's a no. If he only talks to you about, oh, what you got on, it's a no. If he only has sexually based things to say to you, Oh, you're so hot. Oh, you're so sexy. Oh, look at that ass. You can see what he likes. 
and what he's into. He's not into you. He's into what you can provide, which is men love it. Men love it. Like they, they want, they want the kitty. Before you run to that D appointment, think about it. Think about the times he has given you any, has he ever given you anything? Does, does he treat you right? Does he love on you? Does he build up your self-esteem with words of affirmation? Does he deserve, does he deserve this? This is a gift. You are a gift. That's why he's doing all of this manipulation to get into your gift because it's a prize. You are a prize. Does he deserve this prize? Did he work to get this prize? Are you, are you just giving the prize away for free? Don't let lust drive you. Think about all the times he has, he has given you anything and you will kind of answer your own question. Does he deserve this? Ask yourself, does he deserve my cookie? If you do not feel body confident, if you do not feel in love with your body, you take off the clothes and you instantly want to flip off the light, do not go to your do not go to this D session. You have way more work than opening up to do. You have you need to love yourself first before you start giving your body away to others. It's just not fair to your mental health. All you're doing is compiling trauma, baggage, insecurities on top of insecurities, and then you're sharing it with another person when you have so much work to do. That's that's not the way to go. Don't don't jump into situationships, relationships hoping that it'll make you whole. You have to go and hold yourself. It takes two holds to make a companionship. You can't be half of a person and expecting the other person to fulfill you. It'll never happen because as soon as that other person leaves, who are you? What are you going to be? Are you are you half of a person now? Are you just invaluable? You have to love your whole self. So you take off the clothes, you look in the mirror, you you get naked. Get naked in front of your own mirror. If you feel ashamed being in front of a mirror, how are you going to be in front of a man and show him that yes, I am here? Look at me. Aren't I sexy? I'm beautiful. Do you deserve me? Maybe. I'm over here, so maybe you do. You need to talk that life into yourself. If you don't have that life-giving positive affirmations to give yourself, you stay home because you're going to damage yourself. You're going to damage yourself in insecurities. If this man doesn't like what he sees, are you going to break down and cry if he asks you, oh, you got an extra role there, huh? Are you going to fold? No. But you're going to love on all those roles. We're going to love on all that loose tummy skin. We're going to love on and the cellulite, the stretch marks. If we got long boobs, we're going to love on all of it. Okay, we're going to adorn her in lotions, potions, oils, serums. We're going to make her glow. We're going to love your temple first. Do not run to no D session hoping it'll satisfy you, fill you up make you a whole human, you have to be whole within yourself first before you start sharing your body with anyone. It's so important. Please build up your self-esteem because you want to go into the bedroom with your cutest Savage X Fenty, okay? The lip gloss is popping to extremes we cannot count because when you lay it on him, he's not, he's not going to remember what happened to him. This, this, this confident woman just slayed me and I don't remember like the last four hours of my life. That's what you need to happen. So if you are not body confident, stay home. Before you go on your D session, you want to make sure everything is flowing. Rushing sex, it does not rush love. It rushes attachment. I'm going to say that again. Rushing sex does not rush love. It rushes attachment. You ever heard of a soul tie? A soul tie is like a biblical way of saying emotionally attached. A woman, she moves out of emotion. She moves out of feeling. Love to her is very powerful. And intimacy and love can sometimes be confused. For men, intimacy is intimacy. There's not that attachment there. For women, it's not the same. If you give your body to a man, you start getting attached. And if that man, if that man ain't into you and he moves on after he gets what he wants, you're going to damage yourself. You're going to damage your spirit. You're going to start piling on trauma and attachment. Codependency issues is going to be bad. If it's not flowing, you need to let it go. So make sure you and your partner are on the same page. You feel mutual, mutual love for one another. Whether you're on that like level, love level, either or, you want to make sure it's reciprocal. 
you, and he's proven this to you. I'm, I'm so sad when women are kind of conned, like they, the man shows them what they need to see until they get the cookie. And then the, once they get it, they stop learning about you. They stop pursuing you. They stop being interested in you. It's so unfortunate. It sucks. It sucks. After, after intimacy, that's why they say hold off as much as you can. If you can last 90 days, get to know this person. Get to know them. Let them know you. Let them, let them ask questions about you. Let them ask who you are, what you're into. Let him prove himself that he is worthy. Remember, it is a gift. We're not giving it away to no digga digga boys, okay? And then, and then once you've reached that period of, I trust this person, the trust is so important. You know, once this happens, it makes your bond stronger. Not you're afraid of like, he's gonna run off into the sunset. The flow, it has to flow. If you find that, yeah, there's that intuition where I don't feel good about this. Oh, I'm scared he might leave. Don't do it. Leave it alone because your intuition, it never lies to you. A woman's intuition is her strongest friend. It's her, it's your ally in life. It will always protect you. If it's saying run, run. If it's saying beware, you need to listen. If it's telling you go for it, go for it. This will all, this is your fear brain. Your fear brain is going to tell you logical things to ignore this, but this, listen to her. She's quiet. She's quiet, but she's consistent. She will keep saying what you need to hear until you do it. And once you do what your intuition says, she's going to go away because you have finally succeeded in doing what the heart, the body, the intuition, the ego, it's all coming together. She's complete. So follow this. If it flows, great. If it does not, let it go. And once again, if it does not feel right in your heart, if you're getting ready for that D appointment, you're putting on the lip gloss and your stomach starts like, he doesn't deserve this, you know, but I want some too. You, you hear that, you hear that sound? That's the, these are, these are the two that are fighting. That, <laughs> that that's that's the sound of conflict okay conflict sounds like oh but i uh, and i can't oh, and this just uh, because she and she doesn't agree she's telling you to do one thing and this is telling you to do another thing as i said your intuition it does not lie if you are getting ready for your d appointment and you feel like uh, i'm not ready this person doesn't deserve it I don't feel good about myself tonight. He wants me to do something I'm not ready for. And your brain is like, oh, but you know, it'll be okay. Oh, but no, don't worry about it tonight. You'll get over it. You have to make these two match because they're doing this. Once you get into alignment and your heart and your brain is on the same page, run into the night. Get your sneaky link on. D get your overnight bag. You make sure you have your Vagisil wipes in there. You run to go. Go get you some. But if we're doing this, stay home. Before your D appointment, I want to make sure you guys are protected. Please use protection. Use birth control. The worst thing is... Just being wild, being messy. Oh, it feels good in the moment. It feels wonderful in the moment. Being reckless. Recklessness is is like, it's that adrenaline. Running into a, behind a tree and, and getting it on, that's reckless and fun. And it makes you feel like you're alive. And, and then after it's done, you feel so, you feel like ish. Cause you're like, oh God, what got into me? Lust is, um, it's very powerful. You can see the power of lust when people ruin 20 year marriages with like the nanny. It's, lust is strong. The weakness of the flesh, it never fails. But it's, it's really in our power to, to calm down. We, <laughs> you need to calm down, move wisely because reckless behavior equals reckless consequences you want to get pregnant by who 
Make sure this is a long-term partner. If you want to get, you know, a little reckless, you, you have to trust your partner. You want to be with somebody you trust. Go ahead and get tested together if you want to be raw. You want to feel everything. Sure, it feels good. Go ahead and get tested together. Make sure you feel good. Uh, make sure you have a, a birth control, a, a good form of birth control. If you uh, get an IUD, get birth control, get Nexplanon, there's too many ways to protect yourself against having unwanted babies. The worst thing you want to do is have a baby with your situationship. Having a child is a, it's a long-term commitment. That's nothing you can just back out of. You want to make sure you're having a child with the person you love. You don't want to have a baby by somebody you can't stand. That's going to be the child's father. You're going to have to interact with that person forever. So make sure whoever you're giving the kitty to is somebody that you can see as the child's father. Because if anything happens, and now look at you, your hot girl summer turned into a baby mama winter. I'm not here to judge. Things happen. But if you can choose to make a better decision, choose that you want a good person, you want to make sure that the person that you are making love to will make a proper father. That's just, let, let, let's just use that as a standard. The person you are giving it to should be a good quality person because just in case anything happens and they become your child's father, you are not banging your head against the wall, okay? With like, damn, what did I do? Make sure your connection with your partner is deeper than sex before your D appointment. Make sure that it's not so surface. If it's just intimacy, it's just, it's you're gonna feel empty. It's like junk food. You want a whole meal. You want all of it to come together. The intimacy should be a cherry on top of the Sunday. It shouldn't be the entire Sunday and you're trying to build. It's hard to build on top of something as shallow as just intimacy. We want to make sure that we have a connection. We have things in common. Trust, again, that's the word of the, the, the video. Trust this person, please. Make sure they have proven themselves to you. Make sure you've proven yourself to them. Mutual, reciprocal, not one-sided. And once you've built that connection, once you feel good with each other, you have jokes for days, you, you look at each other and know what the other is thinking, that is a good feeling. And that's who you want to give your body to. So before you run into a, that D appointment and you're like, yeah, one day we can make something out of this. Um, that's lust talking. That's lust. That's desperation. That's um, codependency. That's all the things that he senses in you that he's just eating up. He's enjoying like, yay. I love her desperation. I love that she thinks I'm going to abandon her at the drop of a dime. I love having manipulative actions over her. Yay. That's what they want. They want you to feel like you're unbalanced, you're unstable because this wasn't built on a foundation. This was built on toothpicks. So now that I've equipped you, I've empowered you with the knowledge you need. Go ahead and watch your vaginal hygiene videos. Go ahead and watch your your, your shower routine videos. I have a few. I'll, I'll, I'll link up top. Smell good. Go ahead and use up your Bath and Body Works and the tastiest scents and vanillas you can. Put your hair on. Go to his house because you can leave anytime. Now you could now you could enjoy your 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 D appointment in peace because you've hopefully checked off all these boxes. You've met all the requirements to enjoy your D appointment without without trauma, without baggage, without codependency, without uh, fighting your intuition. We're we're safe. We're in a safe space, and he deserves you. You are the prize. I need you guys to know that you are the prize. Don't let no waste man come tell you anything that you are lower than him, that you are not deserving of respect, that you are unworthy. Don't let him make you insecure. Do not question your self-esteem. You walk into that room and you know that you are it and he is blessed to even chat to you, okay? To even know you, to have your number in his phone. I responded, what? Boy, you lucky, okay? I need you to walk around with that energy, that confidence, that bravado, because that's the feminine spirit we carry over here in this channel. This is, this is who we are over here. We're building ourselves up. We're healing. We're moving in purpose, all purposes.
mentally, spiritually, physically. I need you to know that you're valuable. And I'm so grateful that you encountered my channel. If you needed to hear this message, here it is. If you want to hear more, go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> I hope you like this. And now go run off into the night, you little wild one. You just, you're nasty. No, we don't, we don't shame over here. Go, go get you some. I'm proud of you. I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy yourselves and stay safe. Mwah. Bye.